and as soon as he gets that, should be fine, but maybe Seneco coming in for the big play is going to be able to stun up Afo to start with, easily getting the second kill of the game, Navi. Right. So Afo rapidly losing control of this game and could be dying again here. Seneco's going to go for the dive. Will stun up Afo. The TP and is not going to be fast enough. Might get the return kill. In fact, yeah, Seneco, the potion is our model. Not going to be enough. Falling this game, that, that could be a, a very fast. Could... They're trying to get him. Actually, it's going to be the Templar Assassin Illusion that could claim the kill as the lead sees slowly but surely. And it is Dendi wow. <laughs> with an illusion. <laughs> Gets the kill onto the Skywrath Mage. Again, the lack of armor definitely uh, put the Skywrath Mage very exposed to all that physical damage. He's not going to get his level 6, I don't think, in time. Dendi sees him, and now Gortz is left kind of, what do I do? Now he doesn't actually know that he doesn't have Icarus dying. Dendi, calm down. He sees Gortz. Three seconds, two seconds, Gortz. Oh, no. He's going to be found by Dendi. Easily claiming the kill, and now we'll clean up the stack as well. Nice try, Vigoritz, but the damage over time from that Fire Spirits just wasn't enough to clear through the camp fast enough. If you got his level 6, that could have been different. But now Goddamn's going to be run down by Dendi as well. There's going to be an additional kill at this rate as most. Oh, jeez, just two shots, the Zeus. It's Roshan as well. Ancient Apparition, Ice Blast, it'll clip Gorez. They may try and go for the quick kill. He grabs the regen, they pop out of the pit, now trying to go for Gorez. He doesn't have enough mana, he was two mana short there of a supernova. Necessary to keep that one up for a while. If they can actually take that down, it'll still be a decent trade off. Apo gonna go down to top lane, falls again, godlike for Dendi. And how you win Dota games without having a single stun, but it's not the formula of this game, and TP's. Artez, well, they actually get the cold feet on the right one. Dendi is going to lock him down with a good Mel Strike on the right hand side. They get off the Supernova plus the Overgrowth. And the stun will actually go off, but it's not enough to really force Navi back too much. They're still going to search for, try and get whatever pick offs they can, but. So, like 1v5 here. Oh, yeah, he really uh, is. Dread, if he moves a little bit to the right. <laughs> He's gonna yeah, he wanted that Melt Strike. He isn't going to get it. Waits for the second Melt Strike and will do shot. He suddenly popped his refresher on Dindy. I mean, that's just how far ahead. He, he doesn't even need to be scared at all. I mean, drafting-wise, when it comes down to control, there is none for Hellraisers. And if the Tinker is shut down, which Navi read, like, if we shut down the Tinker, there's nothing to happen. Supernova goes off, quickly cleared up by Dindy and Abos. They now turn on the goddamn, quickly wiped out by a Melt Strike. Afo is trying to defend with March of the Machines, but... Dendi and Havos just don't really care. They've got more than enough stats to deal with that measly points of damage. Afo will fall. Double kill beyond Godlike Spree for Dendi. And there it is. Hellraiser's finally calling 2-0. Navi will move on to the upper bracket finals. One more match. If they manage to beat out Alliance, they will be qualifying for ESL1 Frankfurt. So yep. big congratulations to them. Hellraisers still have a shot to make their way back through, but it's going to be through the lower bracket uh, where they will be waiting for their opponents probably for the next four or five days. So we still have a lot of lower bracket matches to get through, but we're not done for the night just.